Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the guy. You, you broke stuff in the locker room? Yeah, the whole locker room I broke. They had to call the ambulance because three players were laying down <laughs> in coma. <laughs> you said right now you're the best player in Major League Soccer. There's another player in Los Angeles, Carlos Vela. In this moment, he's got 19 goals, 12 assists, and his team is leading Major League Soccer. Do you still consider yourself the best player in Major League Soccer? By far. Because if he's in, in his prime, how old is he? Carlos Vela's 29. 29. He's playing in MLS and he's in his prime. Mm -hmm. When I was 29, where was I? Yeah, you were in Europe. Big difference. Yes. Can you describe us then who is Slaton? Because a lot of Dutch people doesn't understand. What? Uh, I never heard this question before. I think only you're the one who don't understand. So you should ask uh, people who know Slaton. What do you think they will say? Ask them. Do you worry at all that your teammates will be uh, will, will feel like they're in your shadow? They will be offended by your confidence and by all the attention that you get. No, 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 no. I make them superstars just like I make you. <laughs> come, see the big Paul, players here. If you want to see you, between you, two you, big you, players, come. <laughs> <laughs> come here. Oh, okay, I'll sit there. Sit on the floor. I'm gonna ask him. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him. But just tell him to take, to leave me the free kicks. I, I oh, the free kick was good, huh? Yeah, but just tell him to leave me the free kick. But did it go in? No. It's so right. I'm taking the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just put down the ratings, now leave the stage. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> switch. <laughs> I think in my age, you cannot think future, you think present, even if I'm there past, present, and the future. So, there it is. I speak better English than Swedish, because I haven't been here for a long time. better English than me at this stage. No, I said to also training in my club. I'm going to check it. No, no, no. I'm going to check it. I'm going to check it. I'm going to check it. How long do you have to check it? How long do you have to No, we finish. No, 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 we we all start at that. Training in Bayern, I also started. So I got a minute. Yeah, I know what you're gonna ask. <laughs> it's coming next year. My picture. He's not on the. He's not on the wall. But I saw some. There's a lot of. You know why? Rooms. Because they still don't know how the how God is looking. <laughs> And then I'm on He's TV doing a POC, poc talk. POC talk, POC interview in POC TV. Woo! You need the POC win. POC win. <laughs> we need the POC points. POC points. Thank thanks, thanks for coming, man. Thank you. We really appreciate right. it. POC go home. On se voit plus tard, en toute façon. Je sais déjà. Voilà. Vive la France. Man, I... Please do, do not offend me. I don't need to prove nothing. Even if I don't score the goals today. And uh, I have a lot of respect for Vela. He is a good player, but you did one mistake. You compare him with me. And you know better football than me? No. So why are you talking? I asked you. I do, I do my job. Are you a journalist or a camera guy? So why are you holding the camera? You should have a camera there, no? Because my boss wants you to meet you. So he's low budget. But when the injury happened, it was easy for me. I had one target, and that is to come back, to play the game, and I will walk out just like I came in. I will not walk out limping. I will walk out the way I want to walk out. And even if I have to walk on water, I will do that also. <laughs> you have to say something. <laughs> Just how big a difference does he make? He's a very modest guy, as we know. <laughs> that's why. That's why you bought him. Bought him. That's why he came here. That's why he came here. That's why he came here. Follow me. Follow me. Nobody talks. Let us. Let us. Why nobody talks? Because after the bus. You don't follow the TV. You speak. Only speak to general. Yeah.
No, I don't agree. I was playing also normal against Holland and today I play also normal. So there's only one Zlatan. Are you sure? Yeah. You know Zlatan? I know. Sometimes I think it's his twin brother. Because uh, last Wednesday there was another behavior than, than today. You play so well today. How you know Zlatan? Is the fourth time you meet him on there? Yeah. I said I come here because I want a lot. I don't come here to relax and uh, that's who I am. And uh, so far I won 33 trophies. That's probably more than the whole MLS won together. So I know what I'm doing. Trust me. When you bring me to Dortmund? Yeah, no, please. Not in front of the I camera. Have to, I have to sell the whole team. <laughs> Go, I come for free. Yeah. How are you? Good? You come for free. Okay. Did you hear what yeah. he said? <laughs> come for free to Dortmund. <laughs> If it's not want, for the president in uh, Paris. Call me. Yeah. How is everything? Good? Everything's fine. Very good. good. Happy to see your team. Yeah. Very strong team. Yeah. It's hard work, but it's okay. It, uh, when you hit the bar twice, it's come to your brain that maybe you cannot do it, but certainly you must. This is your family. Um, so now you don't even need me. You okay. just have to talk with your friend. How are you doing, Papus? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you? You're even more ugly in television than reality. <laughs> <laughs> and I even put, put the makeup, so can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm good. You become famous after this uh, moment, eh? <laughs> You've welcomed him on Twitter. Can you remember what you said? Ah, uh, what did I say? There is one god and one king in LA now. Who is the biggest though? Zlatan, the, the god or the king? You describe that. In my world, there's many kings, but there's only one god. I was looking in the LA Times and you took out an advertisement. <laughs> a lot of athletes will take out a full page ad. Usually when they leave, they thank the city you know, for everything, but you took one out um, to, as you, just as you got started and it says, Dear Los Angeles, you're welcome. Does your wife have a nickname for you? Nah, she's... I don't even know if she says my name. So like, she goes by in the meaning. So when yeah. she wants something, she just says the meaning, not the nickname or something. Mm -hmm. Like, if she wants you to take out the trash, what would you say then? She would say like, can you go out and take the trash? Or can you take out the trash? And I would say, you know where the trash is. So you go and take it and bring it out. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. No, 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 no. Nah, you're nah. crazy, but you're not that nah, crazy. Nah, nah. No. I would take it out. I mean, yeah. in my, there is no uh, advantage or disadvantage. We are 50-50, like, if I do it, I do it. I have no problems. Even with my dog, I'm walking out. If I need to take the poo up, I will take all the poo up. So that, that's the way it is. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm not the typical Swedish guy, but I put Sweden on the map, so. If you come up among lions, you should expect to get attacked by the lions. It's normal, because if you're a cat, you will run away. But if you're a lion, you will stay among the other lions. I came here as a 35-year-old where everybody thought I was in a wheelchair. And what happened? The lion is still alive. <laughs> and that's the way it is. Have you ever had a time where you said something, where you put yourself out there and then thought, oh my God, I got to back to something? Every day, no? Every day. Because I have a vision, I have my confidence, and I believe in myself. People call it arrogant, I call it confidence. Ignorant people call it arrogant. Intelligent people call it confidence. You have a lot of nicknames, don't you? I have. I have. Which one do you like the most? I mean, when I was on the show of Kimmel, he said he wanted to call me the, the red fish or something. I like powerful. I like when they call me the god. Yeah. Were you a good bicycle thief? Yes. Very good. <laughs> I have, I'm still a good bicycle thief. <laughs> I know the measures in uh, in uh, the kilom kilometers. I don't know more or less in yards how much it is, but 10 kilometers. So it was pretty far to go to the training. So sometimes I was walking, sometimes I, I was jogging, running, and uh, 
and I said, I need a bicycle. And my father didn't have money to buy one. So I went on the streets and I was looking for first opportunity to steal one and I stole it, came to the training and yeah, came back. But when, when they caught me, I was like, I borrowed the bicycle. I didn't steal it. Here, take it back. <laughs> you're, you're renting without money. Exactly. <laughs> Rent for free. I mean, in Europe, the football is, is huge. It's right. Big. So wherever right. I went, it's, I mean, people, they get crazy and that. And people told me, when you come to Los Angeles, don't worry. You can walk on the streets and that. But since day one. No. It's yeah. Busy everywhere. So <laughs> it is my own fault. Because if you play the way I do, I mean. <laughs> <laughs>